waste time. Say lot word when few word do trick.
I'll talk normally. Well, this screen is pretty cool. It does all the screen things. It's bright. It's clear. It has some nice colors and it looks really good. But it also has extra stuff on top, uh, which I'm actually I'm actually excited about that. I mean, we have the two touch sensors here. This one's for brightness. And I have tons of lights set up around, so the brightness is probably washed out a bit. Maybe right there has the, the maximum brightness. But if you long press it, long press the brightness, we get a battery indicator in the top right. That's new. It's really cool. And this side is the color palette sensor. And if you long press that, check this out, we have pixel mode right now, so it looks sort of um, natural, the way it normally is. You long press it, changes from pixel mode into this. Look at nice and smooth. Purist, uh, maybe would say like, oh, gross and everything, but I like both. <laughs> they, they both look so good. Um, the other thing is the on-screen display. So you access that by pressing all three, option A and B. Now we have a bunch of options that you would actually want. Brightness, the vertical position, the horizontal position. This is great. This is an anxiety reliever for me. I, whenever you put in a screen, at least me, I get sort of stressed out about making it perfect. And a lot of times I have to take it apart uh, to, to, cause I'm a little bit picky about that. So here, let's say I do drop the screen a little bit too low. Option A to access that um, option. Then A and B to change it. Check it out. You can actually change the, the screen position kind of virtually there, but it's so good. I absolutely love that. And option A to deselect that option. A and B to navigate and then color adjust and everything. It's just... I love it. So now, option B to get rid of that on-screen display. Check it out. Really good. I'm very, very happy with that.